Toki Chu, and this is the LCA final project presentation for class uh, 7300. My project goal and handprint is to convince an enterprise customer to move an email service from on-prem data centers to cloud. And why did I choose this project? I'm a cloud engineer I'm also developing a sustainability program in my department to help customers to optimize their compute workloads. I, what I found is existing researches focus mostly on energy consumption and carbon emissions in data centers. I would like to leverage this project to explore other sustainability areas to understand the broader scope of this handprint. For my scope, in terms of business as usual, I'm defining it as an enterprise company with 100,000 employees continue to use email services in the same on-prem data centers. And the proposed alternative is the same enterprise company will move their email service from on-prem data centers to a cloud service provider. And the function unit is the data centers process email service workloads for 100,000 users in one year. And the system boundary will be created to grave. And I'm using in, uh, recipe 2016 midpoint as my impact assessment methodology. This is the business as usual reference flow diagram that I have. As you can see, the most impactful unit processes for a data center are electricity consumption, water usage, and is water wastewater treatment, and also the hardware replacement. And here I'm just considering the server and the hard drive replacement here. And originally I have included staff commute but because this is a very complicated allocation problem and is almost impossible to allocate the correct percentage for staff commute for emails only. So I decided to leave it out right now. And in terms of server and hard drive replacement, it, I break it down into three other unit processes. Number one is to create such a device and then transport the device to the data center and at the end recycling the old broken device. And transportation is further divided into ocean and truck transport because most compute hardware are built in Asia th these days. Ocean transport is the most common route for overseas shipment for customers. I have highlighted uh, HDD replacement here because that's essentially the only difference compared to the cloud reference flow diagram. For the cloud reference flow diagram, uh, the only difference here is uh, the SSD replacement because um, SSD hard drive is the latest and uh, better technology and cloud servers are supporting that, mostly supporting that. And also uh, I have, uh, for moving on-prem email service to cloud, I assume the servers can be reused for other types of compute workload for the company. So there is no additional processes for moving the email service to cloud because they can simply switch to a new website. And therefore, the operational processes in cloud data center is essentially just like the same as on-prem. Uh, on this table illustrates the unit scale required for both on-prem and cloud data centers for each unit processes. For electricity consumption, basically is the kilowatt hours from all the devices in the data centers and multiply it with the data center metric called PUE. And cloud and on-prem data centers will have very different PUE that will um, 
end up with different electricity consumption for both. And as you can see here, um, the electricity consumption for cloud is almost half of the electricity consumption for on-prem. And I'm using high voltage uh, data as my LCI input is because high voltage um, trans uh, electricity transmission will minimize the transmission loss and the data centers can internally lower the voltage and distribute uh, internally. And in terms of water consumption, I'm using uh, tap water as uh, for both data center types. And you can see that cloud is using 60% less water. And obviously, uh, the wastewater treatment for cloud will be scaled down 60% as well. I assume there's no great water reuse for water optimization here and we can conduct sensitivity analysis if we want to see whether there's a big effect if we want to add on gray water reuse on the cloud side. And in terms of wastewater, uh, I'm using eco event treatment sewage to wastewater treatment class three because this is the medium sized municipal wastewater treatment plant. Uh, and we can potentially use class one for large municipal treatment plan for cloud to see whether there's any uh, great impact. And in terms of server and hard, hard drive replacement breakdown, it will be shown on the next slides. But for here, you can see that cloud, or cloud data centers are using almost half of the servers compared to on-prem. And also um, for the hard drive, I'm assuming uh, the data centers will be re replacing them every four years. And it is using one terabyte of hard drive for on-prem and four terabyte SSD hard drive for cloud. And in terms of creating new servers, I'm using EcoInvent Desktop without screen at plant as my proxy data, because this is the closest to a uh, actual server in the data center. And on-prem, uh, I'm assuming on-prem data centers are using volume servers and cloud is using mid-range servers. Mid-range mid servers are bigger and heavier than volume servers. And that's why in terms of transportation, even though I'm assuming they're traveling with the same distance, and clouds, uh, cloud transport is larger in terms of ton times kilometers. And in terms of recycling, I'm using disposal, eco invent disposal industrial devices to WEEE treatment. I'm considering these servers to be uh, industrial devices because of its potential size and functions. And there's actually no eco invent data for external hard drives, so I'm using UCO data uh, based on manufacturing prices for the hard drives. And for HDD, it's basically $50.50 per hard drive, and for SSD, it's $106 per hard drive. And in terms of transport, cloud is using uh, one fourth of the ton times kilometer because um, with the same data storage, it is using fewer number of devices. And in terms of recycling the hard drive, I'm using equal invent disposal to keyboard standard version to WEEE treatment because um, even though the title says keyboard, but in the description, it is actually saying any IT accessories and external hard drive can be considered as IT accessories. In terms of the results, you can see that this is the graph for the relative result, and cloud is essentially uh, making our 50% less uh, on each impact category 
compared to on-prem email services. And my family's CO2 footprint is 73 ton CO2 equivalent, and these are my normalization factors. Because cloud is essentially having half of the impact compared to on-prem, so we can just look at the normalization values for on-prem and divide it by half, and that's the cloud normalization values. Ranking from marine ecotoxicity to fine particulate matter form formation, my proposed hempins are mostly bigger than one. And the only last four uh, impact categories require scaling my handprints to achieve net positive. I also notice electricity has 90 plus percent of contribution for on-prem services for almost most of the impact categories. And the impact categories listed here are the ones that are not just only affected by electricity consumption, but by also improving other unit processes such as server replacement, wastewater treatment, they could have a big effect on these listed categories. And they are marine eutrophication, terrestrial ecotoxicity, mineral resource scarcity, freshwater ecotoxicity, human non-carcinogenic toxicity, land use, and marine ecotoxicity. One surprising finding is that the water consumption impact category is mostly affect, impacted by electricity consumption instead of the direct consumption at the data center. And therefore, lowering electricity consumption can actually lower water consumption more effectively. And you can see that it is, uh, electricity is using 97% of water cons uh, of impact of contribution here and in terms of scaling for net positive for most impact categories i can just convince one customer to execute a handprint to achieve net positive and the following four categories are the ones that require scaling for land use i need to convince 28 customers marine eutrophication three customers mineral resource scarcity, 3,481 customers, and stratospheric ocean depletion, I need to convince eight customers. I also did a sensitivity analysis in terms of using greener electricity. In my original analysis, I'm using US electricity as my uh, original analysis, but to assess the effect of carbon-free energy I replace the cloud service with Finland electricity to see the effect on all the impact categories. As you can see, land use, ionizing, radiation, ter terrestrial ecotoxicity, and water consumption are higher than the original US electricity with cloud. Uh, and land use is obviously much higher, and that actually makes a lot of sense because Finland electricity portfolio are mostly using uh, renewable energy and nuclear, and it is a 79% carbon free uh, portfolio. And as but when you we're looking at other impact categories, it is all it is actually really using uh, impacting uh, a lot less in those categories. So I can conclude that Finland electricity portfolio uh, is a more sustainable way for, in terms of electricity consumption for data centers. The final conclusions here are electricity usage is the main cause for most impact categories. And it is essentially contributing 90 plus percent for most of the, these categories. And water consumption by electricity is much higher than
than the actual water usage in the data centers. By reducing electricity consumption, it actually will greatly improve water shortages. Lowering electricity consumption in the data centers turns out to be the best way to improve most of the impact categories. And using Finland's electricity portfolio will be better off in most impact categories compared with US electricity portfolio. And if I need to minimize my impact for mineral resource scarcity, I should look for another handprint because convincing 3,481 customers will be very hard. And I would say this proposed handprint is successful overall because it can improve most of the impact categories. Thank you very much.